At IPG, for inspection and measurement of the parts that are laser processed, we have optical microscopy, scanning, electron microscopy, and atomic force microscopy. Uh, which one you use really depends on the part that you're machining or the, the feature that you're trying to analyze. For example, uh, if you want to look at parts using magnifications up to like a thousand X, we would most likely use optical uh, microscopy. Above that, you'll use scanning electron microscopy or atomic force microscopy. Well, this is another one of our visual inspection systems. This particular part is a stainless steel part cut on a fiber laser using an IPG laser cube. We take the DXF information, download it into this software, and we can inspect for hole size and positional accuracy to whatever tolerancing we uh, deem appropriate. In this case, I've cut relatively thick stainless steel sample on the IPG laser cube requested by the customer, uh, and I'm measuring the taper angle of the cut and the surface roughness of it at different depth of the cuts. Uh, to see if it meets the customer requirements. This is a stylus profilometer, contact type uh, method of measuring the surface roughness of the materials and is currently measuring the surface roughness of the stainless part that we have cut. So in this case, the straightness of the cut wall and the surface roughness is meeting the customer specification. Here we are performing the Rockville hardness testing. It is a macro test to quantify the relative hardness of the materials. It uses a diamond tip with a certain load uh, and measures the indentation depth into the materials to distinguish the hardness of the materials. Energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy is one of the tools that we have. Here you basically focus an electron beam on the sample, uh, typically using the SEM uh, or while using the SEM and you capture what are called the characteristic secondary x-ray uh, that are emitted by the sample. By analyzing those, you can basically understand what's the elemental composition of the sample. For more information about our metrology and metallurgy lab capabilities and to send us your most challenging samples, please contact us at 508-373-1100.